I'm Glenn Parry. I'm Professor of Strategy and Operations Management here at Bristol Business School. Right, um, so blockchain is a construct that actually originated, it came from Bitcoin um, and it was the way that you verified transactions. Now to explain it simply, if you imagine you've got an exchange between two people, you need to somehow make a register that, you know, I've taken some of your Bitcoins and or, or, or you've given me some of your Bitcoins and how do we, we show that? Well, when they're transferred, that it's not quite true, but it, it gives you an explanation, an illustration of kind of what happens is that transaction A to B is written in a piece of code called a hash and we say A goes to B and we put that like on a page and then every 10 minutes all these transactions that are going on are written and then all of them are hashed together so you get this unique code for those. <clears throat> now to get that hash requires lots of computing power and people are competing to get that and what they have to do is get a certain number of zeros at the start of their code for that page and when they do that they go oh you know it's like I've won the lottery I've mined that and the thing with the algorithm that was created is it's very easy to check it but it's very difficult to generate it <clears throat> so everybody checks it and if it's agreed that becomes the block the hash and all, all the transactions and that's shared amongst everybody <clears throat> and they put it on the chain and that hash then effectively what links it together is becomes the first piece of information on the next block and you do that and then you've got you know your next page and you hash that and then that then links into the next block so it's interlinked if that makes sense so you end up with this chain and, and this provides you with your immutable record what they mean by that is very difficult to change anything because you've got to unpick it and you've got to unpick it and then change something and then stick it back together again faster than everybody else who's going forwards. Now if you think about the massive computing power that's behind creating blockchains, somebody's likely to notice that you've bought a supercomputer and using tons of power and unpicking chains and rebuilding them. So it's secure-ish. <clears throat>